Normally I'd go to create the property, but instead I'm going to go to create the layup because I'm doing an orthotropic layered composite. So I'm going to create a couple new layups, but first I'd mentioned I was going to use the global plies, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create my global plies down here. There's a little box here that there's none defined right now. So I'm going to create several global plies. I'm going to create one that's called uh, called bottom. The material on the bottom ply is this Jones one, and it has a thickness of 0.05. I'm going to create another ply, and I'm going to call it um, X area because this is that strip that goes across in the X direction. It's the same material. It's the same thickness. I'm going to create a third global ply, call it Y area, which is also the same 0.05. If you have a lot of composites and a lot of layups, you end up getting pretty good at this kind of thing. Um, the last one is going to be called the top sheet. The material is the same Jones EP and the thickness is the 0.05. So what I've defined is I've defined, I've created names for these. So I have four names for global plies and it's given them a default thickness and a default material and a name. So now when I go back in to create my ply, I'm going to create a very, very simple ply. As you saw, it's just four layers. It starts with the bottom ply, goes the X, does the Y, and then the top. So the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to give it a generic name. I'm going to call it a layup. And so I'm going to fix for my first ply is going to be the bottom sheet. It fills in the material for me. It fills in the thickness. The uh, angle I'm going to talk a little bit about more and why it's important, but I'm going to make this one a zero degree one, which means the uh, strong direction is in the zero degree angle. I give it a new ply. I've defined my global ply as being the X area of the next one, and I'm just going to do the same thing with that. The next ply is going to be this Y area, and also at the, now the Y area is actually laid the other way, so I'm going to make it at 90 degrees, so that the strong direction of the Y ply actually goes up and down in the picture. And finally, I'm going to cover it up with a top sheet, which is going to be back at zero degrees. So here's my layup. It has four global plies, the bottom sheet, the top sheet, the X, and the Y strips that go across it. They're all the same material. They're all the same thickness. And aside from that uh, one strip in the Y direction, they all have uh, a zero orientation. So there's my layup. Now, one thing that I need to do before I get to mesh this is I've created a layup, but what I haven't actually created is a property. 